we're gonna be making kaleidoscopes. Get ready, buckle your seatbelts, because I'm gonna tell you the materials that you'll be needing. In your bags, you'll find a card piece of cardboard that you're gonna decorate. Before you fold it, you're gonna decorate it. You're also going to be using little pieces of tape. They're kind of like stickers to tape the inside of your kaleidoscope with. And here's the other piece, the beads and the top and the part that you look through. Now, you'll also wanna grab some markers, uh, maybe some pom-poms, feathers, any little thing that can give your kaleidoscope pizzazz. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is to fold your the inside of your the mirror inside of your kaleidoscope. Now make sure to fold the iridescent or the um, the silver side silver side in on the inside. So the blue because the other color there's another color on the other side, Carolyn. What blue. color is that? Oh, it's like a blue. The blue side. Okay, will be on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that. There's little lines to make it quite easy. And then I'm gonna hold it together and use my handy dandy little piece of tape here. Okay, so now I'm gonna decorate. So what shape does that, did that make? Makes a triangle. I see you. Oh my gosh, I love oh, it. Oh yeah. For okay. a Hershey kiss. Now I'm gonna decorate, this is gonna be the outside of my kaleidoscope. Okay. Ta-da. So I'm gonna decorate Does it with some markers. Does it matter what side we color on, Miss Carolyn? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna to wanna to color on the white side. Okay. The cardboard side is gonna be on the inside. Okay. I'm gonna glue some uh, sequins on. We can... That's hot glue. That works out really well for us because it's we're working really fast today. But if you wanna work a little bit slower and you just have normal glue, that is absolutely perfect too. Yep, Elmer's glue, glue stick. Whatever you got from school. Yep. Let that dry a little bit longer, set it aside, and let's put our topper together. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take your caps out. I've taken the bottom one out. This bottom one doesn't have a hole in it, so that's where we wanna pour our beads. Be careful with this, it's easy to spill these little guys. They're so tiny. Oh, they're so pretty. Now we need to put the cap on. Now this is gonna be your cap. There's a tiny, it's hard to find, but there's a little sticker that we need to take off the back. So I'm gonna peel that off there. And now I'm gonna put my cap on right here. And Carolyn and I, we're gonna put all of these pieces together and show you how to put them together. So the first step is rolling your cardboard Which from I'm this. Right now. Yep. So and I'll we're gonna roll, roll it up, up here so you can see. It looks a little bit like a, maybe a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, that cardboard. And the, those pieces interlock right in with each other. Just like a lot. I think I got it. One more. Ooh, the lolly. There we go. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. Yes. But if you have any questions, you can comment below and we'll answer them. So then we take our prism that you've already made into a triangle. Our fancy prism. Woo! I gotcha. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it right in there. Doesn't matter how that's in there. Okay, just as long as the triangle's in there so you can kind of see it in there. All right. And remember, you've already put your beads and locked your beads in with that, with that cap. It's still kind of loose. So you wanna be real careful with this.
I love it. Oh, and it's creating beautiful shapes and colors. Oh my God. Oh, this is really cool. But once they're dry, you should be good to go. And you can kind of turn. And you see those beads moving in there? Gosh, it's so cool. And so as you turn them, you're gonna see that they make all kinds of different patterns. Yep, it seems to go on and on and on.